"'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house. Not a blender was stirring, not even a Morphe Richards brand blender. Morphe Richards is a real blend. Look it up. It's a real brand. The citrus was all stored in the refrigerated air in hopes that St. Cleansalot would soon be there. Okay, I'm done being corny. It's day 10. Finally get to do this. Although, if you're being very strict, it's day 10 of my juice fast. I did not technically do the master cleanse today. Today... I did oranges, which almost saved my life. It was so nice to have, you know, just throwing whole oranges in the Vitamix. Whole oranges, whole oranges, don't even need a reason. Um, it was very nice to do that and to have more, frankly, calories in my body. Have a bit of a shift. Didn't have as much molasses day today, though, because I ran out. Uh, although technically today doesn't call for molasses. When you come off the master cleanse, you do oranges for the first 36 hours or so. And day, all day one coming off and half a day two. And then for the afternoon, you start to do uh, vegetable soup with broth and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be whipping up tomorrow for Christmas Day. I want to thank you guys for following along. Um, and for your likes, uh, I've had an interesting experience sharing this. Uh, I'm mostly just getting over my own nervousness and critical self-talk that can come in. I can definitely be, if you know me at all, uh, I can definitely be a, a bit of a perfectionist, but I've noticed that every year I let more and more of that go, and I realize that the attitude and the intention is much more important. And sharing in an open-hearted way is something that's good for the whole world. You know? Especially if your goal is service. Um, so I kind of put my, put my meditation pillow up against the <sighs> wall here as well. Oh, and this is my, this is my lamp. This is my favorite lamp. I don't, I, I guess I own two lamps. This is my favorite lamp. This is my stand-in for... This is made in Turkey. This is my stand-in for my Christmas tree because I didn't have time to get a Christmas tree this year. I was cleansing and I was finishing up the audiobook and I'm a minimalist anyway, so it doesn't bother me too much. Although next year, I think we're going to see a lot more decorations. A lot more decorations happening. I really like this lamp though because the bulbs are handmade. This one's rainbow. There was like 12 versions of this and I was like, I got to get the golden one. And it's interrupting. Cast some cool shadows on the thing. And this is a blue feather that a, an auntie gave me because she read 10,000 Hours in Paradise. I really like this feather. Um, and the blue feather plays a really big role in Volume 1. It's a manifestation that came to me. So, I won't spoil that. I'll let you find out the significance of the blue feather, but yes, I think that's about it. <sighs> I've probably almost run out of time anyway. You hear that? Honolulu loves fireworks, so if you ever come to Oahu, you ever come to the, especially in Honolulu, the capital of Hawaii, um, you will be greeted and treated and depending on what neighborhood, I think it's most neighborhoods, to just random far. I think millionaires move here and they don't know what to do with their money. I don't know. Um, sometimes you see some pretty good ones out there, though. It's a very random... Uh, uh, it's a very random bonus, I guess, for living here. Anyway, um, that's all for me for now. If you have any other questions about Master Cleanse, um, I might do a video a little later in a few weeks and talk about coming off and if I'm still alive and how my uh, digestion is going. <laughs> but mahalo, thank you so much. And it's here on Hawaii as we say. Instead of thank you very much, we say mahalo nui loa.